Now we have 802 take away 476. I know you guys learned in first grade and second grade regrouping, or in third grade too, but this is a tricky kind of regrouping because we have a zero here. Okay, the language for that is regrouping across zeros. So when I first look at my ones digits, because you always start with your ones place, if I have two, I can't take away six. Okay, the six digit is, is, is bigger than the two digit. So I have to regroup. And normally I just go right over to the tens place. But in the number 802, I do not have any in the tens place that I can regroup and move over. So I have to go all the way to the hundreds place. And I'm going to regroup 100. So I'm going to take apart one of my groups of 100. So, so how many, who can raise their hand and tell me how many groups of 10 is there in 100? Because I have zero tens. How many groups of 10 do I have now if I'm bringing one over from the hundreds? Simeon. Seven. Not seven. Nope. How many tens do I have now? 10. That's right. Now, since I have 10 groups of 10, I can regroup over to my ones. So I'm going to cross this out. And now I have 9 groups of 10. And since I'm going to move one of those groups of 10 over to my ones, one group of 10 is just 10 more 10 ones. So I had two ones. 10 more ones is now 12. Now I can subtract. Nine, or sorry, 12 take away 6 is 6. 9 take away 7 is just 2. And 7 take away 4 is 3. I'm regrouping, but see here I had to regroup twice because I had to go across a zero. Okay. 